Enabling auto invoicing for your PayMail account is very simple. Go to our Merchant Setup application and log in with your existing Google or Google Apps account. I have created a new Google account to show you how this works. When logging in for the first time, a welcome dialog will provide additional information for a hassle-free start. Click on the provided link to install Ultradocs from the Chrome Web Store. Ultradocs is the template engine used to produce your invoices. Installing Ultradocs will enable you to modify your templates or outgoing emails. Let's also open the online help. It provides important information that we will need shortly. Now we are ready to activate auto-invoicing. First of all, enter your merchant name. The merchant name will appear on your invoices and as the visible sender when sending out emails to your customers. If you want to get notifications whenever a transaction fails or succeeds, enter the email address that will receive the notification emails. Please also specify the sender email address that will be used when sending out invoices to your customers. To be able to send out emails using this sender address, you will receive an email to verify that you are the owner. Check the Enable Upload action if you want to store a copy of all generated invoices on your Google Drive. If you want to customize your invoices, check the supported languages and choose the default locale that will be used for customers with an unsupported language. Now we are ready to go. To start the setup process, we will need your private PayMail key. Log in to your PayMail account and go to Settings. Switch to the API Keys tab and copy your private key to the clipboard. Switch back to the setup application and click on the Create button. Paste your private API key into the text box and click on Create. The setup application will create the required webhooks and copy the default templates to your Google Drive. Let's click on the link to go to Google Drive. The Shared with me section contains the folder for your merchant. In this folder you will find your uploaded invoices and your invoice templates. Check out the tutorial how to customize your invoices. Open your mailbox and you will find the notification for the shared folders on Google Drive as well as the verification request for your sender email address. Click on the provided link to prove that you are the owner of this email address. The setup is complete. Let's create a test transaction. To do so, we have to create a client first. We have to provide additional information in the description of the client to be able to send out an invoice. Check out the online documentation for further details. You will find a number of examples, so let's copy one of these to get started. The description field contains the name, the address, the language and country of the client, as well as the VAT settings. For our example, I will set the language to English and the country to Great Britain in order to produce a proper invoice. The VAT field specifies that the total amount includes 19% of value-added taxes. Let's also add a dummy credit card in order to be able to perform the transaction. When creating a transaction, make sure to always charge the amount including value-added taxes. And also provide a meaningful description, as the description will appear on your invoice. Click on the Pay button to actually perform the transaction. Let's now switch to the inbox of the customer. As you can see, the invoice has just arrived. The email has been sent from the specified sender address and the merchant name appears as the visible sender. Attached you will find the invoice as a PDF document. 
The invoice contains all the provided fields and looks quite boring as we have not yet customized the template. Check out the documentation to learn how to customize the template according to your corporate identity. Thanks for watching.